Hello there, this is Mr. Schmidt, and uh, I wanted to show you how I approach the first lesson or two of uh, triangle music lessons with, uh, with my children, because what I show them at home, or I show them at school, they're going to take home to you, it's going to be very clearly marked in the book what, uh, what the assignment is, and then you have to sit with them and, and do your part because uh, unlike gymnastics or taekwondo or uh, swimming you, you, you have to practice at home uh, these songs a little bit every night and we're not trying to get to Carnegie Hall I think you understand that we're, this is a learning how to learn deal we're giving them little puzzles to solve every week so let's take a look at the keyboard real quick I'm going to show them how the keyboard is um, how we've got, got our way around it with uh, looking at the black notes. Now these are not, we're not going to play these notes for quite a while, but uh, they're signposts and we don't drive into signposts, we just use them to find where we are. So look at the blacks. We have three blacks, two blacks, three blacks, two blacks, three blacks, etc. It's just the same pattern, three and two. Um, before every two blacks is going to be C. Now, please don't mark that note C. That's not the idea. We want your child to be able to go to any piano in the world and find middle C, okay? These are all C's. C's. Alright, so, and if they have, uh, they have on your keyboard, if they have the uh, notes marked up there, please tape them over with something. Alright, so this is a picture of every keyboard in the world. You're going to have this page is circled, this page is circled. Just want you to quietly read about that with your with your uh, with your child. And now here we go. Page four is our first real assignment. We have here what we call the menu. And I ask the children, uh, when you go to Pizza Hut, do you order a hamburger? And they say, well, of course not. They say, well, why not? And they say, well, they don't have hamburgers on the menu. And that's that's absolutely right. So when you walk into a restaurant, think about it you kind of have an idea what's on the menu or you need to look at the menu to see what's there. Here is our menu for the week. There's three notes. C, D, and E. And we're going to use our thumb, which is one, our pointer finger, which is two, and our third finger, our middle finger. And we're going to put our thumb on C. And we're going to... Those are the three notes right there that we're going to play. All we have to worry about for this lesson, we don't even worry about this hand, we don't worry about the fourth finger or the fifth finger, and we play this song here. And that's it. Now, notice I keep my fingers right over the keys. When I put this pen down where I'm going to need it, I don't put it over there across the room, I put it right where I can reach it. You want your fingers right where they can reach the note. We don't want them to do something like... I'm exaggerating, but and that's a wasted motion. And down here, this is the exact same thing in real music. So, now, even though the notes are written in here for the first time, please don't write any notes in your book or fingerings either, because we're not trying to get anywhere fast. We're just trying to get somewhere. Okay, that's the idea. The trip is what's the trip is what counts not the destination. Now, let's look at page five. Again, look at the menu. This is what tells you what you have to worry about this week. It's the same three notes. So we're going to put our thumb on C, second finger, and E. And we're going to play this song right now. And I like to point, especially at the beginning of the week when you're starting to work, because the children are just learning how to use their eyes. Reading and it's a big deal for them to use their eyes, especially right here, where they got to go from here all the way to here. So help them out for a little bit until they get used to it. And that's that song. Now, if you do those two songs this week and I cross them off, then we move on to the next two tunes. This is as far as we're going to go, just these next two pages. Now, look at the menu. We have something new. We have A, B, and C. We're going to use the left hand. Just look at all that's on every page because this is really a textbook and every bit of ink there is there for a reason. Okay, now, put your thumb on C. Now a child, a lot of children are going to want to put their thumb here. But it's because they had this and they're going to think, well, no. So it's the same note that you had your other thumb on, so here we go. 
and then here's the B, and then there's A. So we're going to play this song right here. I'm going to point, at least at the beginning of the week, help their eyes. And the same thing down here. how fast they play. I don't care if they stumble a little bit. Again, this is just, this is really the means of learning something else that they can apply to everything. Somehow it gets down to what they can, uh, how they behave in the cafeteria, how they, how they interact on the bus, how they're learning, how they're absorbing, how they're filing and dragging into files, deleting. All right, at our house, look at the menu. Same three notes. Now this is a little rough and this is where some parents want to pick up a pen and start writing in notes. Well, that's not the idea. Uh, it's like an open book, open book spelling test. It's not really accomplishing anything. So just make sure they familiarize themselves. But well, look at it this way. Um, they go to a cousin's birthday party and they have to meet all these strange children from other schools. And um, they don't put names, usually they don't put name tags on little kids. You know, they. You sort of get to recognize, oh, that kid with the red hair, or the kid with the glasses, that's John. You know, you, so you have to visually recognize what these notes are. And there's only five notes so far. So here we go. Put your thumb on C, two blacks, down that way. And point, just for now. bring uh, full-size keyboards to school. I would like you to bring your book every week. And the tip is to, park, to pack it the night before so that uh, you're more organized and not running around so frantically in the morning. And bring an inexpensive pair of earbuds. What we do with the earbuds is, uh, with uh, my other keyboards, uh, children can be correcting something that I've uh, shown them and they can be practicing it correctly for a few minutes or actually just practicing their, their weekly lesson um, so the earbuds really help. Just keep them in their backpack the whole, the whole year. They're light, they're cheap, they're inexpensive, and they plug right into my keyboard. And I hope you have a very good time with this because uh, this really should be fun for everybody. You're paying extra for it. I realize it. Um, and mark your practice stamp. It really helps me understand if you had a real busy week or you just don't get it on a particular week. And it's a big difference for me, so I can sort of uh, do the corrective thing. So, have fun.